It's an evil, evil world, man. Yesterday, against the Nashville Predators, we had ourselves Vegas Golden Knights defenseman Shea Theodore suit up for his first game since November. Now, Theodore was out for a while. I had him in fantasy, so I just kind of stashed him away on the IR, so it was pretty nice to see him come back and be a new addition to my squad. In a way, you know, I mean, he's played... 21 games so far, so this has not really been a full season for Theodore. But upon his return to the Vegas Golden Knights lineup, he did get himself a power play assist, which was very nice to see Carlson from Nick Waugh and Theodore. And because he's back in the lineup, there's some pretty interesting things going on in Vegas. Theodore is making $5.2 million a year on this salary cap until the end of 24-25, which means... When the Vegas Golden Knights reactivated Shea, they had to do some shenanigans finagling to make things work. Here's the tweet from Cap Friendly from earlier on the 19th. Vegas has activated Shea Theodore from LTIR today. They didn't have enough LTIR relief to do so without making another move. Our assumption is that they have placed Jack Eichel on the LTIR. Here's the update on cap. LTIR relief is 15 mil. LTIR used is 7.2 mil. So the LTIR cap space would now be 7.8 mil. And this was confirmed later in that same day when the cap friendly automated transactions tweeted out that Jack Eichel is going from the IR to the LTIR. Now, if you needed the update as to what Jack Eichel has been up to, the guy hasn't played a game since January 11th. He's been out for a while because he had himself surgery. So, the fact that he'd already been out for an extended amount of time gave the Vegas Golden Knights the opportunity to say, okay, well, we're bringing Theodore back up. Let's put Jack Eichel on the LTIR, and we'll continue playing in the same way we've been playing ever since the middle of January. January, because that's when we lost Jack Eichel, that's when he got surgery, and that's when we had to adjust, right? But as you can see, the replies and the quote tweets are going insane. First reply says, just in time to cheat the cap again. The league needs to prevent this. They cheat this way every year. It's such a bad look for the NHL. Cheaters are going to cheat. What a joke. Franklin goes on LTIR to circumvent the cap. This has been a huge, huge thing. And I was not going to make a video about this initially. Like, this happened two days ago. I was like, oh, darn, Jack Eichel's on the LTIR. But that's okay because he's already been out for a month. So it's not like anything new has happened with the Vegas Golden Knights, right? Wrong. Because in that same Vegas Golden Knights game against the Nashville Predators you had yet another very important piece of this team end up leaving the lineup. It is Mark Stone who got himself an injury too. He left the game and his $9.5 million AAV cap hit is one of the biggest on the team. He's a top tier player, 53 points, 56 games played, full seasons point production pace of 77 in 82 games. And this is what GM Kelly McCrimmon said earlier today day on the Pierre Maguire Sick Podcast. Mark Stone will be out for a while. Jack Eichel and William Carrier are getting closer to returning. Now, I'm kind of intrigued as to why he said this second part. Why are you saying that Jack Eichel is getting close to returning when you just put him on the LTIR two days ago? That kind of doesn't really make sense, right? But with this Mark Stone news putting itself on blast, hey, the Vegas Golden Knights are doing the thing again. I don't know how long a while is, but if a while is long enough to put Mark Stone on the LTIR, then all of a sudden you've got Stone and his 9.5 million dollar cap hit and you've got Jack Eichel with his 10 million dollar AAV cap hit not to mention Robin Lehner is on here too there's 15 million dollars in LTIR space right now and if you put stone on that LTIR that expands to 24 million gosh darn dollars that is a lot of freaking money that you could go out there and use Right now, the Vegas Golden Knights have used up about 6.7 mil of that cap space on the LTIR. So if you tried to map it out, they've got about 9 million bucks remaining on the LTIR space. If you double that, add on stone. If you have $18 million to work with heading into the trade deadline, 
then who knows what the hell this team is going to be able to do. Chris Tanev, come on down. Noah Hannafin, why don't you come on down? All of these top tier players that are available on the market for March's trade deadline, come on down to Vegas, be a part of this super team, and if they could keep Jack Eichel and Mark Stone out of the lineup long enough to pull off that Nikita Kucherov special, then we may see an absolutely dominant version of the Vegas Golden Knights present itself in the playoffs once everything begins. Who cares how they do in the regular season? If Mark Stone and Jack Eichel are out for the rest of the year, look, I mean, this team is good enough to go out there and win. Even last night, I mean, they didn't win against Nashville, but still... Nick Waugh has stepped up in a very big way on that first line. Paul Cotter is now a second-line player. He's been fine, admittedly. He's such an energy ball out there, always hitting guys, always blocking shots. And he gets some time on the power play, too. He's actually been pretty okay there. Mason Morelli has been super effective in his limited role. And now you have Shea Theodore back. So that adds some great depth to your power play. He is finally the puck-moving defenseman this team needed on that first unit once again. So with this roster, which doesn't have Stone, doesn't have Eichel, honestly, especially when you consider how the Pacific Division has been playing out too, this team has a very good chance at just sticking around in the top three, making the playoffs, and being a part of that dance. And if they're able to capitalize on all this cap stuff that's been going on. They do this every year, man. It's how they got Petrangelo. Then I don't know what's going to happen next, man. Vegas Golden Knights fans, y'all let me know in the comments all your opinions about this team. Let's go out there and see the Andy and Rono tweet. Jack Eichel is on the LTIR and the Golden Knights have space over $8 million under the cap. So which player or players will they acquire? Jake Gensel, Hannafin, Tanev, Walker? If they end up getting Jake Gensel from the Pittsburgh Penguins and a guy like Noah Hannafin... Like, what in the world is going to happen with this team? Once everybody is back and everybody's fully healthy, Stone, Eichel, Gensel, Barbashev, Marcia So, Carlson, like, the depth will be incredible. The depth goes on for days, and this clearly is another one of these situations where if the Vegas Golden Knights pull a rabbit out of their hat and say, yep, sorry, LTAR space doesn't matter in the playoffs, like, there's no cap hit in the playoffs, so we could just get as many guys as we want in the regular season, make sure we're cap compliant, and then game one of the first round, Eichel, Stone, they're back. Like, I don't buy for one second that Jack Eichel is getting closer to returning when just two days ago you put him on the LTIR. Why would you do that? What thought process goes into that where you shove the guy on the LTIR just to have him there for a limited amount of time? Like, I get it. You need to have that cap space opened up for Shea Theodore to return, but why would you do it with a move like this? If this doesn't work, if Eichel really is getting closer, then what's going to happen when Eichel is back in like a week or so, two weeks or so? You're just going to have Shea Theodore chilling on the team too. You can't injure that guy yourself. You can't take a hammer to his knee. Like, there needs to be some movement here in order for Vegas to be cap compliance. So I don't buy the idea that Eichel's going to be getting closer to returning and this implication that he'll actually be able to play before the playoffs begins. Like, I don't know, for Mark Stone, he'll be out for a while. Jack Eichel, he may be out for a while too. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below if you're a fan of the NHL or a fan of the Vegas Golden Knights. What are your opinions on all of these opportunities? I'm going to say they're opportunities because that is exactly what they are. They are chances to force a better and bigger bolder team in Vegas, and I think the rest of the NHL should be fearful of this opportunity. Thoughts in the comment section below. I hope you enjoyed this video. And bye.